please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Carlsbad. We have a great show planned for you today. To start off the show, we have Wyatt live in the studio with ASB. And we have Cameron on football, also doing it on DeGero. And we have Nico with breaking news on in and out So let's get the show on the road, Carlsbad. I'm Johan Dereka. I'm Bella Linners. And CJS TV starts right now. Welcome back, Carlsbad. To start off the show, we have a story on a volleyball player here at CHS. Carly Ray brings us this piece. Number eight, Adina Dixon, one of the few sophomores on the varsity volleyball team. And her road to success has been filled with hard work and a few challenges along the way. I think this sport is definitely like my grounder. I've been playing for so long that at this point, you know, it's pretty much everything I know and I would you know I wouldn't have the connections and the relationships I have right now without volleyball. She has no doubt that the connections she's made has shaped her into the player she is today. Uh, my teammates have really pushed me uh, especially my seniors on the team with their knowledge and everything you know it's been really great getting another perspective from them especially from girls who have been playing for a lot longer than I have and who have had you know a lot more experience in high school um, you know a, especially adapting to a new way of playing. These girls are, the girls on this team are really good and really talented, and so it's just an honor to be able to play with them and to get to practice and, you know, compete with them. So I'm really thankful for that opportunity. However, with all these opportunities and eight years of volleyball, it does begin to take a toll on you physically. I really hurt my knee a while back. I tore a ligament in my knee, and so I was out for a really long time, which kind of, you know, set me back a little bit, but um, my teammates on club really helped me bounce back and I was able to come back better than ever and you know it took a lot of training and it took a lot of um, work in the gym but you know in the end it all paid off and now look where I am pretty happy with it. With almost one year of varsity under her belt and two more in the future Adina surely has a bright future ahead and we can't wait to see what the future has in store. With that this has been Reese Heinemann and Carly Ray Jones reporting for CHS TV. Thank you, Carly Ray and Reese, for that story. Would you like to promote your club on CHS TV? Please feel free to stop by room 5105 before school or at brunch to set it up. Teachers, would you like to submit an announcement? Go to chstv.com and click on More. From there, click on Submit an Announcement. For our first live today, we will be going to Wyatt, who is interviewing ASB about today's game. Wyatt? What's up, CHS? I'm here with members of ASB to talk to us a little bit about this week's game. So, May, I know you have some rules around powder. Can you tell me a bit about that? So, unfortunately, we're not allowed to bring powder to tonight's game, and we're just asking the students not to bring or throw your own powder tonight. Awesome, guys. Make sure not to do that. And, Saul, if the powder is found, what will the outcome look like? Yeah, guys, so if we do this, then we'll have a lot of activities stripped from us. Um, so, no more. Uh, we'll, we won't be able to play any music or any loud crowd activities for this game and the home playoff game. Um, so, guys, we can still have fun without, you know, breaking the rules. Um, and so we might have possible chance that we'll have powder on uh, the home playoff game. So if we just wait it out this game uh, and not, you know, break any rules, uh, no throwing objects or powder at all, you know, stuff like that, then we'll be able to have uh, powder in the home playoff game. So let's follow the rules, guys. All right, guys, make sure not to bring any powder or throw it. And, Max, anything's off on a lighter note. What do you have to look forward to tonight? Yeah, so huge, huge rivalry game against LCC. And I know Saul's been cooking up some fire beats, so if you want to hear those, so be there. Awesome, guys. Make sure to come out and support. And I'll send back to Johan at the desk. Thanks, Wyatt. CHS Coral will be performing Beetlejuice this Saturday the 23rd at 2 and 7 p.m. outside the CAC. Tickets can be purchased at chscoral.com, and they are $15 each. If you are in need of community service hours, please see the PTSA page on the CHS website. 
There are a variety of ways to get those hours while giving back to our community. Now we have a band here at CHS live in the studio talking to Avery. Avery, what's going on? Thank you, Bella, and good morning, Carlsbad. I'm here live with Kaysen, Max, and Alyssa to talk about their band, Girls Camp. So, Kaysen, why did you guys want to start a band? Um, you know, we were just three best friends in a Gavin, uh, and we all really like music, so we thought, why not get together and make some of our own to spread with the world? That's awesome. And Max, I heard there is a charity event tonight. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, so it's tonight at 7 at Harding Community Center. It's tomorrow night. Yeah. All right, tomorrow night at 7, Saturday. My bad, guys. And, um, and yeah, it's for a charity called Happy Star Melodies. And basically what they do is they give instruments to kids who are in hospitals and underprivileged as well. And they also um, have musicians play for them, too. That's really cool. And Alyssa, I'm sure we are all wondering, how did you guys come up with the name for your band? You know, as the sole girl in this band, we just wanted to shout out all the girls in music that often get underrepresented in the industry. That's great. All right, you heard it here first, Carlsbad. Be sure to come out and support Girls Camp tomorrow night at the Community Center at 7 and bring your $5. And don't forget that all proceeds will be donated to Happy Star Melodies. Thank you so much, guys, for coming on. And I'm going to send it back to Bella at the desk. Thank you, Avery. Chess Club meets every Tuesday at Lunch in Room 2008. Come check out this new club. The CHS Writing Lab is open every morning before school from 725 and 825 in Room 3211. All are welcome and no appointment is needed. Now we have Channing live with football to talk about tonight's game and more. Channing? Yes, thank you, Johan. I am live with Julian, Daryl, Kyle, and Brian from the varsity football team. So, Daryl, what is different about tonight's game? Um, it's senior night, so come out and support. Awesome, and I know that you guys have a lot on the line for this game. So, Brian, can you tell me more about that? Yeah, we're playing for the Rotary Cup tonight, which is the rivalry between Carlsbad and LCC. And since you guys are undefeated, Kyle, if you remain undefeated, how will that affect the rest of your season? Uh, if we win this game, we'll be 3P Avocado League champions. Congratulations on that. And Julian, can you tell me how you guys go into each game with such a strong mindset? You know, we don't look past any opponent, and we understand the importance of each game. Awesome. Thank you guys for coming on. Now I'm going to send it back to Bella at the desk. Thank you, Channing. Are you in need of a work permit? Please contact Ms. Gradia Lara in the front office. Attention seniors, class sweatshirts have finally arrived and are ready for pickup. Stop by the Lancer store to pick up your sweatshirt. They are available for those who have purchased the senior package or purchased one from the Lancer web store. Don't forget to pick up your sweatshirt, seniors. Now we are sending it out to Cameron, who is live at the, fo at the football field, Via De Gero, to talk about the last football game and what's to come after. Cameron, what do you have for us? As you guys know, today is Friday, and we will be having our last regular home game of the season. In honor of Breast Cancer Month and October, the theme will be Pink Game. This, um, we will be having our playoff game too, so if you will not be able to make it to this one, don't be afraid. The theme then will be Blizzard, and we will have our powder throw then. As you have heard before, please don't bring powder tonight. This will jeopardize the rest of our school events for the year. So be sure to mostly have fun, be safe, and be respectful. That's all I have for you today, Carlsbad, and we'll go back to the desk. Thank you, Cameron. Next up, we have Nico live on the magic window to talk about some vaccine issues at an in-and-out in San Francisco. Nico? Thank you, Johan, and good morning, Carlsbad. I'm here to bring you guys a little bit of news on our beloved In-N-Out Burger. So what may have happened to In-N-Out, you ask? Well, in the city of San Francisco, a recent COVID-19 vaccine mandate was put on across the city that all customers dining in at restaurants need to show proof of vaccination with a vaccination card. So this In-N-Out in San Francisco, the only In-N-Out location in San Francisco, located here at Pier 47 uh, on Fisherman Wharf, a very popular um, tourist attraction in San Francisco, was shut down by the city because they were... They said, quote, they did not want to be the COVID-19 police. Um, and so the city shut down their only in and out location because they did not want to um, require their customers to be vaccinated. They said that everybody should be able to enjoy their food no matter what their standpoint is. I know that we're all going to be enjoying our in and out tonight. And thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to send it back to the anchors at the desk. Thank you, Nico. Senior class sweatshirts, junior class t-shirts, and sophomore class t-shirts that were pre-ordered are available for pickup in the student store. If you ordered one of these items, please bring your ID to pick it up. That's all we have for you today, Carlsbad. Make it a great one.